Livestock guardian dogs are absolutely essential to the operations of our farm, but because I was way less prepared than I thought I was when I first brought these guys home, they ended up being my biggest challenge and ultimately my biggest failure as a farmer. We do rotational grazing with the goats, which uses electric wire netting, and right off the bat, we had a pretty huge problem. I'm out of my ATV right now looking for Johnny and June. Frustrating little start to the morning for sure. Johnny started jumping over the electric fence and taking me on out hours, sometimes days long, puppy chases all over creation. Following Johnny and June taking another walk about this morning, there goes all of the things that I had scheduled to do this morning. So then I tried using an e-collar and a remote to try to continue their training. And that was, again, a little bit helpful, but ultimately didn't work because I had to be there 100% of the time for it to work. And as much as I'd love to lay in the pasture with my animals and be a shepherd full time, I also have a job. This led to my next bad idea, which was putting an air tag on their collars, which does actually work great if you are 33 feet away from an iPhone because it's not a true GPS tracker. And also Johnny immediately jumped in the pond, rendering it useless. When we first moved here, I actually had a fence builder come out and give a basic quote on what it would cost to put permanent fencing around the whole place. And pre 2020 lumber hike prices, that was $65,000. Obviously that was not realistic or possible. So I had to get creative. Even with all of the escapes and the puppy chases, everything was mostly tolerable until the day that June jumped the fence and attacked the neighbor's chickens. Being a good neighbor is pretty much the most important thing in the world to me. Unfortunately, the solutions all took way longer and way more time, effort, and money than I had hoped that they would. And during that time, some of these issues started to compound, like the barking. Because Johnny and June weren't actually able to chase off a lot of the predators, we started to get a lot more predator pressure on the farm. Packs of coyotes were regularly coming within our fence line. Johnny and June were barking at them all night, but because they couldn't chase them off, their only defense was to bark. As luck would have it though, I got a message on Instagram from a company who had seen my series of stories about my dog escapes. They were coming out with a new dog collar that had far improved GPS accuracy, and they were looking for people with livestock guardian dogs to test the product. And at that point with the dogs, I didn't have anything else to lose and everything to gain if this product actually worked the way that they said it would. When it came to actually training Johnny and June to use the spot on collars correctly, we started with short leashes and high value treats. We established the boundaries of the fence, we tested it on ourselves first, and then we started taking the dogs on leashed walks around the perimeter and started approaching the fence when the collars would beep we would run away from the fence get a treat and we would basically train them to hear the beep and turn and walk in the other direction after we got used to doing this on the shorter leads i started moving to much longer leads so i used the donkey training leashes then ultimately i had to just trust them and let them free which is again why it was very important to have one fenced area where i knew i could pretty much trust the fences and reinforce the visual boundaries of the collars. But basically once Johnny and June understood that when they heard the beeping noise on their collar, it meant that they needed to turn around and walk the other direction, they were as good as trained. I was able to train our Goldador Rigby to use the collars in an afternoon, but it took me almost eight weeks to get Johnny and June up to speed on how these things actually work. Coolest thing about these GPS collars is that once you've got your dogs really understanding how they work, you can change the parameters or the boundaries of their fence depending on what you want them to be doing. So say you are working on training your dog to stay away from your chickens for a little while. So you can literally make a virtual fence around your chicken coop that will keep your dog out of that area until you're ready to have them in that area. We can have the goats out on pasture again and I no longer have to worry about their electric netting being grounded out or anything else because I just walk Johnny around the perimeter of this new boundary and he gets it and if he approaches it, his collar beeps to tell him, hey, we're not leaving here. And so he doesn't. This entire time we've been out here filming, the dogs have had free reign of whatever they needed to do. If you've watched this channel at all, you know that I'm not a super tech savvy person, but the technology involved in these collars is pretty freaking amazing. The GPS boundary outlines are always within a foot or two of the boundaries that I've set. And that's crazy considering we're talking about signals coming from satellites in space, but somehow it works. 
The app is also super user-friendly and Spot On notifies me if they leave their boundary line and then track them past their boundary line if they leave. Three years ago, even if I had known that this technology existed, I honestly don't know if I would have gotten them because it's a big investment. But three years into this journey, the peace of mind that comes from having an app on my phone alert me if they've escaped, all of a sudden the money honestly doesn't matter at all. Because replacing the dogs at this point would be a far greater greater expense. I now have three years of building relationship and investing in their training and I honestly don't know if I'd have it within me if I had to start over. It's the middle of winter right now, so this turned out to be a perfect time to train the dogs to use their collars in a more strictly defined boundary area. But we've already started doing testing out on the main pasture where there are no visible boundaries and it's going great. And that is the thing that is really going to be a game changer for the farm and for me in general, because it means that we get to get the animals out of the barn and the heavy use area. We get to stop paying for feed and hay in the barn. We get to have the animals back out on pasture and fully protected by the dogs, which is kind of where we've been working to get to for three years now. I am so excited for what's coming on the farm and with our school build this spring. I hope you stick around to be part of it. Cheers.